Main Man RC Rick is here from Ridgeland, Mississippi to inspect the Helix and to give you a layout update and tour. Hey, welcome to the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This is Brian. It's good to have you here on my video today where my main man, R.C. Rick, drives back down from the Rivet Counting Club in Ridgeland, Mississippi. And he does so as promised so he can inspect this helix for you as well as give you a layout update and tour. And the last time he was here, we had conflicting opinions as to whether or not the helix would be successful on my layout or not. And my main man, R.C. Rick, he agreed to come back down later to check and see how it was working. So he is here today. He's here to do the Helix inspection as promised. And then I asked him for a favor. I asked him if he would be willing to give you guys a layout update and tour, and he said he would be happy to. So without further ado, let's welcome my main man, R.C. Rick, to the train shed. Hey, Rick, it's great to have you back here. How have you been? I'm great, Brian. Thank you for asking. It's great to be here from the Rivet Counting Club in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Great to be here. And tell us about the happenings. What's been going on at the Rivet Counting Club up there in Ridgeland? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Rick. Glad you asked. Much has been going on. Power moves been going okay. on up there. Okay. Rodney and okay. Roger, they both won medals in wow. nationals for their modeling. That's Rodney and Roger from the That's Rivet Counting Club in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Told y'all boys I'd give you a yeah, shout out once I got to the coast. Sure did have a safe trip. Thank you for asking. Told y'all boys I'd give you a shout out. Anyway, I'm very glad to be here. Very glad to be here, Brian. Thank you for inviting me. Well, it's great to have you back down here to inspect the Helix, and we appreciate you Bye. agreeing to give the layout Bye. update and tour, Rick. And so just to orient the people at home, what happened is when I was constructing this Helix, my main man here, R.C. Rick, came down a few times, About three times, and he gave us his impressions and opinions of it. About three the last times. time he was here, right after we installed it, we both had conflicting opinions as to whether or not we thought the Helix would be a in successful installation on the layout. And so what we're going to do in a few minutes is we're going to put him in film it, and he's going to inspect the Helix. All right, then what we'll do after that is we'll roll into the whole layout update and tour from Denver around to Winter Park. Does that sound good to you, Rick? It sounds great to me, Brian. Glad to be here. Glad to be doing it. It's good to be here. It's nice to be here now, with all of you. Before we do the Helix inspection, what I would like to do first is flash back oh, to no, some no, of your we, old no, visits we, no, so those folks no, at home we can just go know what we both the inspection right now. Let's okay with that? I'd rather oh, no, just go straight to the inspection. To. Can we go straight to the inspection? Rick, Rick, tell us, what do you think about the helix that I'm building, modular helix that I'm building over here? Not going to work. <laughs> I'm not even looking at it right now, and I can smell that there's stuff off all over the plate. I mean, grades are, are terrible. They're not calculated perfectly. And um, I just noticed that there's lots of inconsistency. Okay, okay. It's probably going to fail miserably. I just... And do you think, I mean, trains are running on it now. Uh, that's just temporary. It's just, it's not going to last long. It's just, there's not been, the calculations weren't perfect, and it's only, that's not going to last. Okay, I think I know what Rick's going to say here, but but in, in closing, Rick, do you think the modular helix will be a success on, on the Denver and Rio Grande Western Iron Horse route <laughs> when we place it in here or not? Mm, no, no, no not gonna work it's not gonna work no all right well how about this Rick what we're gonna do is when it's done we'll bring you back in here for uh, uh, the second live interview and we'll see what happens all right I'd be happy to come back and show I you. I want to thank you for being here today. Rick. I'd be happy to come uh, back and show you. I'm right. Looking forward to having you back. I'd be again. happy to come back and show you. I'm right. How are you today, Rick? Oh, I'm excellent, Brian. Thank you for asking. It's good to be here in the train shed. I'm that's excellent. Thank you for having me back to show you I'm right. Okay, okay. And how how was your morning, Rick? How was your drive down? What you been up to? Well, I've had an excellent morning, Brian. The drive down was great. I've been inspecting layouts. Mainly, I'm from the Rivet Count Club in Ridgeland, Mississippi, and I've been inspecting people's layouts, people that want to join. Okay, and, okay. And yeah, we have strict requirements. Very strict requirements. I'm just so glad that you're here for the completion of Very the strict. Helix. 
It's tied to the main line and ready for your inspection. Matter of fact, I even got an ABA F7 Kados uh, set up running right now with one car, and we're going to let you check it out as we add oh, more. Check it out. How many cars would you think we need to add today, Rick, prior to you being satisfied that the Helix is in, complete, and was successful? Well, Brian, I, I would say I buy on it. It's going to derail in, in three or four cars, probably. Um, but um, what I would say is five cars. But to be safe, we'll say seven cars. Seven cars. <laughs> it will derail definitely by seven cars. Okay, seven. okay. You know, do this to that just right now, Rick. We're gonna do that right now. We're gonna get straight to it. We're gonna add these cars. We're gonna let you get your little clipboard and your notepad together with your calculator and your measurements and your ruler and all that stuff. We're gonna put you over here on the layout. We're gonna film you watching it go around. We're gonna let it go around till you're satisfied. Okay, what you think? Oh, I'm good. I'm very happy. This this will work well for me. You know why I picked seven? Did you know that every rivet has seven stamps on it? Seven. It's like all rivet right, buddy, well, let's get DNA. You. All right, all right, so welcome back. So it was clear and obvious that Rick thought that the Helix would not be successful, and I thought it I would. I didn't say that. Would you agree? I didn't say that. I thought the Helix would be successful. I just didn't tell you that. I didn't want you to get a big head. I did think the Helix would be successful. I wasn't wrong. All right, all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to let him get to it. I'm going to go ahead and pull time to inspect this. It now. I'm going to be pull some time the going scenery. On. Ooh. Ooh, oh, that's cool. I like how you do that. Rodney, Roger, y'all see that? So he can get down there and see real good. Very all right. Nice. And so what we'll do is we'll do a fairly detailed little inspection on the Helix. Then we'll put the scenery back in, and then he'll do the whole layout update and tour. Does that sound good to you, Rick? Sounds great to me. What do y'all think, everybody? And if I'm not mistaken, the last time Rick was here, the layout was 16 by 3. And so it has grown some. So we're pleased to have Rick here to do this inspection. I'm looking forward to seeing what he thinks. And so what we're going to do is let him do the inspection on the Helix. And as he's giving the layout update tour, I'll be in voiceover giving my two cents as well. We're pleased to have y'all here. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. And we'd also like for you to please smash that thumbs up button. As well as click the bell icon. And if you wouldn't mind, share this with your other modeling friends. And please don't forget to leave a comment at the end. I don't know if Rick said that or not. All right, everybody, let's get to the work. Let's do it, everybody. All right, everybody, welcome to the Helix inspection. I kicked Brian out of here so I could properly inspect. And that is a fine helix right there, isn't it, young man? Put together well. What are you doing in my ear? I'm always watching. You're on the filming, and I'm up here in the house. In the camera? I can't connect How are you with in you. My You're ear? in the train shed. I thought we were alone. We thought we got rid of you. That train come down smooth. When a train can back up down a helix, right, that helix man. is all right in my opinion. Join us as we watch it go up this. heading up. Uh, this helix was constructed in a modular capacity off layout. It was Pretty built smooth, with I must say. Uh, it's like masonite or I'm hardboard. It's not hardboard but here. a form of hardboard. And um, those are shish kebab skewers that I got from Dollar General. When you can get skewers through multiple levels you really get some good strong hold in there um, it is weathered well so far we do have a video on how we assembled this uh, helix from start to finish I'm gonna put there's a playlist for it start off with SRV John helping me with the design I'm gonna put a card at the top right corner right here right now about that if you'd like to see how this helix is constructed Thank you. 
That's probably the most severe grade on the layout right there. All right, so tell me, Rick, what do you think of the Healy? Well, I tell you what, I'm pretty impressed with the structural integrity that is maintained over time. I'm, um, I'm pretty impressed all with right, it. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. it all right, all right, all right. Really, um, which I kind of thought it would, you know. I did, I, I did suggest that. It's a fine heel, it's actually. All right, so the part I've been waiting for, well. I don't know if you've been waiting for it. I think the folks at home might have been waiting for it. Why don't we go ahead and start this layout updating tour? Are you ready, Rick? Let's do the layout updating tour right now. I think so, yeah. All right, let's do it. The layout was 16 by 3 the last time you were here. It's 40 by 3 yeah, now. Wrong. We've added a helix. We've added LEDs. We've added all kind of stuff. It's, we're pleased to have you take a look. I'm pleased to be let's taking a look. look. Honor's all mine. Let's get to it, everybody. Alright, we have what looks like Denver. Brian, you want to go ahead and narrate real quick? Well, thank you quick? very much, Rick. Here we are in Denver at Union Station, and we've got a little back area of Denver's Union oh, Station no. as well, and modeling the 16th Street Walking Mall in Denver in this area as well. That's the Albany Hotel over there to the this right. Got Denver. Dilly's Drugs and Soda Store at the bottom. That's the Italian restaurant in the back there. We Just finished. Got a playlist Denver. for it. I'm going to put a card at the top right corner for the playlist on the assembly of the Italian restaurant. And a train just passed, Jerry Sets or Boxcar Jerry's Mill. And now we are, which is in Layden, Colorado, excuse me. And now we're rolling up to Helix. I got it sped up pretty good because we watched the train on the Helix earlier. Got some maps in there to show you the route. The Iron Horse route goes from Denver to Winter Park and back and RC Rick has got you in a app called Filmic up there where you can actually shoot the video in a pick and pick and so we're heading up past that's Uncle Wilmer's warehouse right there that's Ulrey's warehouse on the left there it handles all my road uh, deliveries, transportation that can't be, anything can't be done by rail goes through Uncle Wilmer's place right there on my layout. And uh, we kind of creeping through, heading, we're heading west towards the Gross Reservoir right now. And uh, when you get to the Gross Reservoir, we have another mill. See, Boxcar Jerry's Mill does finishing wood, and this is SRV John's Mill right here. This is McKernan's Mill at the Gross Reservoir, and he takes the raw lumber and uh, gets it ready for Jerry to finish. <clears throat> this little cabin you got back there for Uncle John, AJ made that. And now we head into the... Rollinsville and Toland area where you will find that's Roy Eltham's coal mine right there and they do just that they service our area with coal for power which the power station has not been built yet but the idea is there got place for it and everything now Rick has not had an opportunity to inspect this helix kind of pleased by that because this one is rough it's got the double track up there the uh i can run even though i'm dc i can run uh two sometimes even three trains if i'm crazy but uh when they pass in this helix right here they will actually rub and i have had it um now i've actually had it derail a couple times when they rub but um when I say nine out of ten times, they don't rub, they don't derail, they really don't. They just rub. Scares me to death, though. We're in the Moffat Tunnel now, heading west. The Moffat Tunnel is on the Continental Divide. Right now, the train is about at the highest point you can be in North America as we punch through the Continental Divide into Winter Park, Colorado. With the incorporated city with the highest elevation. And we arrive at Winter Park. Over there to the right is the balcony house in Winter Park. It has really, it is really there now and has really been there for a long time. And this is the closest I could get to how it looked in the 1950s. Over there to the left, you got the F-Bomb restaurant, which is a bar and grill. 
I need lots of stuff up in here. So um, now the train is turned around and is going to head back down to Denver, which is a relatively quick trip because we're downhill. Um, and we're downhill probably grades up to four or five, maybe even six. Um, this tunnel here is not that bad. The helix here is not that bad. But once you get past McKernan's Mill and start heading down towards Union Station, I got a pretty steep grade going down that hill. And uh, it is fun to watch the trains, um, especially multiples, but even one come through Eltham's here heading east uh, back down to Denver. Rick, you're doing a fantastic job up there, man. Great job filming. You are a cinematographer in training. SRV John sent me those portals right there as a gift. Now, I'm that's probably not where that one's going to go forever. But um, I am going to... i got to get it worked into some rock and stuff. Here we come past McKernan's... And we're still relatively flat here with S-turns. Um, <clears throat> those are not super elevated unless they're accidentally super elevated. And uh, need lots of cars and stuff. Got to gotta get on that. And here we go down the big hill. And we're heading back down into Denver. And uh, I appreciate all of you for being here and for riding on this lap with Rick and I. We want to thank you very much. I'd be happy to come back whenever you'll have me. You just invite me. Live trains running RC, Rick, and Brian. We may even try to get Rodney and Roger down here. That's right, all right. You go live on YouTube? That's right, everybody. So if you're not already, I'm going to need for you to please subscribe. Don't forget to comment and smash that. Thumbs up. If you would, please share this with your other model and friends you think might enjoy it. As well as on sharing on other platforms, please. And this has been Brian with the Iron Horse Route. I'm with the Denver and Rio Grande Western, along with my main man. I'm R.C. Rick from the Rivet County Club in Ridgeland, Mississippi. And we were very pleased to have you here with us for the Helix inspection, as well as the layout update and tour. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much for watching with us today. your time we to do watch our content. It. We truly appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Have a great have a day, good night. Bye-bye.